Tinubu from controlling Alpha Beta, XMD Beg Scott, a former managing director of Alpha Beta LLP, Mr. Dako Opara, Opara has filed a suit before Lagos State High Court asking it to stop a former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tinubu, from controlling the finances of Alpha Beta. In the suit filed by Mr. Ebom Olu Adebu, Ad, Adeburua San on behalf of uh, on, on behalf of Opara on Wednesday, the former MD alleged that Tinubu controls Alpha Beta, a tax cons consulting firm that monitors and generates revenue on behalf of the Lagos state government. The ex-Alpha Beta boss had in 2020 filed a suit before the court but withdraw it before filing it a second time after making amendments. Okpara, who had in 2018 written a petition to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission accusing Alpha Beta of tax fraud, asked the court to compel the firm to pay him his entitlements, even as he alleged that Tinubu was the one that got him removed from his position as MD for investigating the firm's finances. Apart from Tinubu, other, others' names as defend, defendant in the suit include Alpha Beta and the current managing director, Mr. Akin Doherty, who is also a former commissioner for finance in Lagos State. The claim the, the claimant is seeking eight eight reliefs, including a a declaration that the second defendant Tinubu not being a named partner of the first defendant Alpha Beta is not entitled to direct or influence the affairs of the first defendant in such a way that will de de deprive the Clement Opara of his profit and entitlement from the first defendant. An order, direct, an order directing the defendant herein to render an account of all sums due to the reclaimant from the defendant from 2010 to date, and an order tracing all funds and assets due to the claimant from the defendant herein from the inception of the first defendant to your date. And an order of specific performance of clause of clause 8 and 11 and 11.0 of the partnership agreement that created the first defendant by, by extant partner and an, an order for payment to the claimant by the first and third defendants of all sums are joined to to be due to the claimant from the first from the said first and third defendant on the submission of the accounts. A perpetual injunction restraining the second defendant to Nubu from directing, influencing or in any other manner running the affairs of the first defendant Alpha Beta in such a way that will deprive the claimant of his profit and entitlement from the first defendant Alpha Beta and the second defendant not being a partner of the first defendant. 10% interest in ruling, in ruling above and cost of his suit of 10 million Naira. In the statement of claim, Okpara also narrated how Alpha Beta was allegedly formed in, 20, in, in 2002 when Tinubu was still the governor of Lagos State. The claimant said he was the one who came up with the idea of a consulting firm to help the state government to track and reconcile taxes. The claimant, Opara, uh, avers that sometimes in about the, about, about the year 2000, 
is solely conceived, prepared, and presented a, a proposal to the legal state government on providing consultancy, consultancy services using his registered firm, Infinity Systems Enterprises, with respect to using computer technology to track and reconcile the internally generated revenue of the state. The claimant avers that following the presentation of his proposal to the Lagos state government, the second defendant, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, who was at the time the governor of Lagos state, uh, demanded that 70% equity, equity interest in the project be assigned to a, to a certain Olumide Ogumola on his Tunubu's behalf before he, the second defendant, would approve the project, Okpara said in his statement. The former Alpha Beta boss claimed Tunubu nominated Adeguyega Oyatola and one Olumide Ogumola. He said due to the technological innovation that was deployed by him, the IGR of the state grew from 10 billion naira per annum in, 20, in 2002 to 300 naira in 2019. The claimant stated that in 2010 or Thereabout, Tinubu directed that the incorporation structure of the Alpha Beta Consulting Limited be changed from a limited liability company to a limited liability partnership under a newly uh, promulgated law in Lagos State. He said the aim of the of the move was to shield Tinubu's involvement from public from scrutiny. Okpara said as the head of the company, he began looking into its finances and he made many, many startling discoveries such as mysterious transfers of over 20 billion naira in different currencies to several companies. The former Alpha Beta boss said he realized that all the payments were sanctioned by the, partner, by the partners nominated by Tinubu and they were done without his knowledge, contrary to the terms of the partnership. Opara stated that Tinubu was furious that he was looking into the company's finances and ordered that he be demoted to deputy managing partner. He said he refused to, to obey uh, this order and, and this led to a feud between the both of them. No date has been fixed for the hearing of the suit, but Tenubu and Alpha Beta had last year described Opara's allegations as spurious. The company had alleged that Opara was relieved of his position because he was involved in fraud. A statement by the firm read in part, the fact is that Dapo Opara began began making his his untrue allegations in the in the aftermath of his involvement as managing director of alpha beta for fraud and unethical practices well ladies and gentlemen this is a story and a matter that is involved between business people but as per what we are hearing in this matter is that uh, opara is the owner of the company and uh, suddenly Bola came in as the governor of Lagos State. So since the case is in the court, we are appealing that let the court judge it right. And whosoever is wrong, they should prove him wrong. And he that is right, they should prove him right. They should not swept this, uh, this matter under carpet so that our country will be a 